What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and it's Fresh Build Friday. That's right, it's that time of the week again where we get you ready for the weekend with a brand new coil build. All right, guys, it's Friday, which means it's the official start to the weekend. Let's go ahead and have some fun with this one. I've got something very different and unique planned for today. It's just kind of a no-named coil. I'm not really sure if it even has a name, but it's just kind of wire art, if you will. So that's kind of what I'm planning on today. So let's just go ahead and try our luck with this one here. Go ahead and grab your mod, your wire, your wick, your addy, your tools, all that good stuff. Let's go down to the close-up view and build it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we've got everything we're going to need for this video. We've got our Anarchist 21 gauge Nichrome 80 wire. Obviously, you can use whatever you want for this, but I just feel like this is going to be good for the task at hand. So there's that. We have our Coil Master DIY Mini V2 kit. We have our little Geek Vape Tab Pro thing here. Uh, we have two different pairs of pliers here. So I have my needle nose and my flat pliers. Both are toothless, of course. Then we have our wire cutters. I, I like using these better than the little Coil Master ones, let's face it. So there you go. And of course, we have our native Wix cotton that we're, we're gonna be wicking this thing with. And voila, there we go. We have a little cooking show magic. We have a finished coil here. I just wanted to show you guys the proof of concept. I wanted to make sure it was gonna ohm out right. And it did, so we're just gonna go ahead and run with this style coil here. So I went with 21 gauge because I felt it was just thick enough to be still malleable yet it was low resistance enough where I could build a pretty large coil and still get away with a fairly low resistance so that's why we're using this anarchist 21 gauge nichrome 80 although you can use 22 gauge canthal or 20 gauge or whatever you want to do any material that you want you can definitely do this sor sort of concept with but that's just kind of why I went with this one here so I went and cut myself an 8 inch length of wire I'm probably not going to need this much but it's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to wire Wire. When you run out of wire, when you're just about done with a coil, there's nothing more annoying than that. But let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do is just go ahead and grab our pliers, both pairs actually, and I'm just going to grip onto it just a little bit down, just like that. Leave ourselves a little bit of a leg there. And then we're going to take our flat pliers like that and just do a 90 degree bend or roughly about a 90 degree. Uh, I'm going to grip onto this wire once again. The width of these pliers here just like that and then I'm going to take the wire on the other end with these pliers and bend it around now the reason I'm not gripping onto it closer to the actual piece that I'm uh, actually bending is because I don't want to gnarl up this wire at all I'm gonna to try to keep this as straight as possible and as neat as possible but you know it doesn't really matter all that much I mean it gets the job done uh, then I'm going to go basically the same distance below our leg here. So I'm just going to try to show you guys that. So about the same distance below this leg here. So just like that, I once again, grip onto it down here and then just do another bend. And don't worry too much about the cleanliness that your coil is going to wobble back and forth and you can just kind of chomp on it with your flat pliers like that to kind of straighten everything out but we will be neatening this thing out once we get everything a little bit more situated and eh, sometimes i'll just kind of go back and forth and just kind of eh, squeeze these a little bit closer together if you want to it's all up to you that's the beauty of coil building it's completely and entirely up to you i feel like bob ross we're gonna make a, a happy little tree coil there we go just like that. There's no no accidents in coil building. Just happy little clouds. Anyways, <laughs> so now we have basically our first uh, quote-unquote wrap, um, but we're going to basically double this here now, so just kind of do the same thing again. Grip onto it about the same length below our lead, and grip onto it here, bend it back, and hopefully this isn't too confusing. I know it can be a little bit uh, a little bit weird just kind of bending things back and forth and all that, but just uh, just enjoy the ride, I guess. But yeah, I'm just kind of winging it, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I've never built this kind of coil before, um, and I have no idea what it would be called or anything like that. I mean, it's kind of like a kind of like a radiator. I would call it the radiator coil if I was to name this thing, but 
it's just wire art. And that's the fun part about building is it's kind of freestyle. So again, just do one more lead here, back and forth with the pliers. And I believe that's it. And it's definitely not a pretty coil. I'm sure people out there are gonna make beautiful versions of this, which, you know, more power to you. If you have the patience and time to really just get in there and just make everything absolutely gorgeous, then by all means. But I like things, uh, I'm more of the functional coil builder than an actual art coil builder, I guess. Um, I mean, I do like a pretty coil. However, it doesn't need to be pretty for me to vape on it, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna bend our legs back so that we can actually make a functioning circuit here. And I mean, yeah, I had a, you know, probably three inches, four inches of extra wire, but whatever. I'm just snip that right off. And let's go ahead and zoom in on the deck. All right, guys, so here is the heating element that we made today. It's pretty cool. I think it's gonna be an interesting one here. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw it in here. We'll see how it vapes. Just uh, undo our screws again real quick because I've already got the one coil installed. This is, in fact, a dual coil build, which should be a lot of fun. And let's just kind of weasel our way in here. This one might be a little bit more difficult and by all means, if you want to take the clamps off and do this, then you can do that as well. Today I'm using the Goon. Or if you use a postless deck, it might be even easier. But I'm just going to try to kind of weasel this coil in there a little bit. I'm not too afraid of bending it up because, I mean, that's exactly how we made the coil. So we can absolutely fix it if we screw anything up here. All right, right there. That looks good to me. Let's go ahead and, oop, see they're moving around even when I'm tightening down the clamps. Go figure. Also, you gotta make sure you got cap clearance and barrel clearance and all that good stuff as well. So just keep an eye out for that. Oop. Oop, all right. Looks tight. Everything sounds tight, so that's good. And now I will attempt to trim off the excess wire. Let's see. Ooh, this 21 gauge, man. It does not want to give up. There we go. Watch your eyes, everybody. Yow! <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Well, yeah. That's why I say watch your eyes, guys, because uh, that 21 gauge really does Thing when it's in your finger like that or in your hand. Ow! Just basically make sure you got clearance everywhere. Make sure it's not touching the deck. Clean it up if you want to a little bit. Just kind of space your wraps out or whatever. Just make sure it just does not touch that deck at all. Otherwise you'll have a short. So I'm going to kind of lift it up there. Bend it up there. Ooh yeah. This ought to be fun. And it's about the same height as the other coil. It's almost dead on, which is awesome. So let me show you guys a profile view. There you go. Oh, yes. Fires at a dead nuts 0.11. <laughs> I am very curious about this one. Ramp up time is rather slow. Yeah, we're timing out on the mod here. But then again, this... this uh. This ohm reader really doesn't fire, you know, that hot. It only puts out whatever the battery's charged to, and my battery's once again almost dead, as it usually is. There we go. Now we're lighting up a little bit quicker. Just always make sure to just throw your barrel on there, throw your top cap on, make sure you don't have any shorts or anything like that. Make sure it's not touching anything. And I do hear a sound, so I'm gonna have to adjust something. I know it. So that means something is touching. So we're gonna have to just bend our leads over a little bit, kind of slump them to the side ever so slightly, but that should do the trick. I'm not getting any short warning, which is good. So I think we're ready to wick it.
All right guys, so the wicking on this one was pretty darn easy. Basically just took about a two inch strip of cotton, flattened it out a little bit, and just kind of shoved it behind these coils. So let's go ahead and see some vapor production. Right now I am at 102 watts. Whoa, 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 ow, ow, ow. Okay, ow. <laughs> Little sparklers everywhere. Uh, it's definitely, um, you know, popping and spitting all over the place, but hopefully that won't kind of translate when we put the top cap on. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, just hot liquid all over the place. It's, it's not fun. It can actually burn you. So just be very careful if you're planning on firing this thing uh, with the top cap off. But let's go ahead and go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the build. Now let's talk about the coils that we just put in this Goon RDA here. And yeah, this was definitely an experiment for me, just kind of going out on a whim and just trying something different. And you know what? I just wanted to see how it vaped. I'm going to say it right now. I prefer the traditional stovetop coil over this one all day long, just because this one here has a couple of different issues. First being the spit back factor. This one spits, pops, crackles. You end up with a mouthful of juice and burnt lips. It's very, very uncomfortable to vape on. Not very pleasant at all. And and the fact that I could have wicked it a little bit different really doesn't change my opinion about it whatsoever. I feel like it would still be very present with this type of coil here. The second is the room inside the deck. Now, unless you have a 30 or 40 millimeter RDA to play around with, where you have tons of room to just kind of mess around with wire, a 24 or 25 millimeter RDA is just not good for this sort of setup here because of how confined it is. Which leads me to my third con, which is the fact that this top cap is scorching hot right now and I can't even really grab onto it without actually feeling a little bit of pain so yeah really not a good thing for me and last but not least you have to set it to a very high wattage especially with a low resistance build of this type you have to set it to a pretty high wattage which increases the temperature factor all around it's going to make everything worse so yeah probably not going to be trying this one out again in the near future until I kind of get a grip on exactly how these are done without having these sort of issues but if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that, I'd love to hear them right down there in the comments box below. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever I upload videos. Also, leave me some comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts all about this build or anything else you guys want to discuss down there. Also, make sure you check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the box below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, vape on. Blah, 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 blah,